The Real World Film Festival showcases Canadian films by Black, Indigenous, Asian, South Asian, and people of color. It takes place next Wednesday, runs through the 27th. And to tell us more about the film festival is actress and founder of the Real World Film Festival, Tanya Williams. Good to see you again on Morning Live. Well, thank you so much. Glad to be here. Not just actress, of course, for many, many, many years, you're in The Young and the Restless. I know it's in the rearview mirror for you now, but do you still watch YNR? No, you, first of all, you didn't ask me if I ever did watch it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you still watching it? Okay. It's a show, but it's it's never been my. It's I'm 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 much more of a person who watches a lot more movies or or documentary. Yeah. So yeah, well, people love you as Dr. Olivia Barber. And uh, people love you, too, for creating this uh, festival, which uh, I'm pretty sure you were on Morning Live for year one. It's been 21 years. It's been 21 years. It's really been amazing. And I think people, yes, we're a film festival, but really it's Real World Screen Institute, and we do a lot of programs, the festival, and year-round programming and training. So uh, we, we want people to go to the website, realworld.ca, and see, especially right now, we've just kicked off a training for our casting directors, agents and managers of which there's really a lack of uh, racially diversity there in those areas. But yeah, the festival kicks off next week on the 20th, 20th to the 27th. We're It'll so be a excited. hybrid? It's going to be two, a hybrid actually this year. So we're going to have films online digitally and we're going to be able, you're going to be able to go in person and see some films at the Paradise on Bloor in Toronto. Okay. What are some of the standout films for you? Oh my God, there's so many fantastic films, but I think if you're gonna, especially if you're gonna go to the um, to the in-person, there's a great documentary called Scattering of Man. It's an indigenous film. It's really about the flood that was caused back in W.A.C. Bennett Dam, which was issued by the province of, of British Columbia. So that's great information um, on that film. Just beautiful film to watch. And a uh, movie called La Fortaleza. Um, uh, these are some beautifully, visually gorgeous films that I'm mentioning as well. So if you're going to go to the movie theater, you also want to take in the, the, um, some of the, not just the stories themselves, but some of them are just shot so beautifully. Yeah. Um, in, in the rumbling of the, the belly of the motherland, that's another great documentary, you know, sort of uh, shot by women journalists that were in, t um, in Kabul during that whole time in Afghanistan just recently mm -hmm. and so what their experience was like and uh, and for the um, online I really want people to look at uh, you know a lot for a long time people of color haven't been able to tell their own stories about the historical accuracy of things that happened in their lives so we have three um, movies um, made by of course all of them are Canadian filmmakers but there are three black legends one of them is Marcus Garvey one of them is um, Walter Perry and one of those, Patrice Lumumba. And so these are the kind of movies that a lot of parents have thought, you know, why don't we see these stories? Our kids don't know who these people are. So it's uh, great. So important and, and so many choices and, and such great storytelling. And as I mentioned, you know, you've been doing this for 21 years now. Uh, this year, there's been so much focus on black and indigenous filmmaking. How has the leap or the growth over these years been? And how far do we have to go? Talk about representation. Well, you have to realize everyone's been talking recently in the last maybe year, year and a half about anti-black racism, anti-Asian racism, anti-indigenous racism. Um, and so this has been an opportunity for the government to really take note, for more funding to become available. But we were talking about this at Real World when I founded the organization. This was 21 years ago when no one thought this, um, this subject matter was important or why was I dedicating my life to this. Um, I know I'm the founder, but people sometimes forget I'm also the executive director. So I, this is my job. I've been doing this for 21 years right. every single day. But I think it's just important that there's been an awakening, I would say, in the last year and a half, where it's like the rest of the world has sort of caught up to these issues and the yeah. importance um, of these issues. And Canada in particular has been, um, they've not always been forthcoming about bringing up the past and the history. But there's been a lot of racism in Canada and uh, over the many decades. And I think there's that people are trying to create a correction right now. And storytelling is the best way to make that correction. Um, you know, historically, things have been told from the perspective of a white perspective. And now to be able to have authentic voices sort of tell stories 
from their perspective, I yeah. think we're, we're all learning a lot from that. So important towards that end, and we'll connect the uh, Real World Film Festival website and programming at chch.com so we can oh, browse absolutely. and checking it out to, at the Paradise or virtually as well. Tanya Williams, right. great to see you again. Uh, thank you so much.